normally when we think about South Africa, we know about its vibrant cultures. Yes. You know. Very rich. I, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And 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 uh, unfortunately, um, what we we normally hear about uh, the state of Palestine is about the struggle. It's about yes. uh, the fight for freedom and mm. self determination and independence. All these violations that that are happening um, in, in the in the territories as well. Yes. I want to look at when you're talking about the Palestinian culture. You know, oh, yeah. What, what, yeah. you know, what's the kind of culture that you, you want to transport to the world? What is kind of that culture? The most important I- item in, in the Palestinian culture is the resilience mm. and the steadfastness. Uh, the Palestinian people has uh, the power to teach life to yeah. everyone because it's not very easy or it's not normal to live under the Israeli occupation for around 70 years now. It's not easy at all. As it, 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 It's a life-changing experience. Uh, it's very difficult to ex- to explain to your kids that this wall, the apartheid segregation wall, that, that that separates them from their neighbors, from their cousins, is a normal situation. It's not easy to 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 make the, your kids and your family normal with with the, such abnormal um, uh, issues. Mm. There are many uh, um, uh, cultural issues that I really want, and my uh, people really want the other world to, to see. There are many sites that yeah. we can show the world, um, um, not only about culture, also about education, about um, how to love life, uh, how to to sacrifice uh, uh, to 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 provide a decent life for your uh, family and for your uh, kids. Yeah. Actually, one of, of the issues that I want to, to highlight or I want to focus during my mission in here is not only to deal with diplomatic and political issues, yeah. despite the fact that they are very much important uh, for us because it's um, uh, the backbone for achieving the, the independence and achieving the Palestinian state. But also I want to move the relationship into a higher uh, stage, into a relationship between the South African people and the Palestinian people. And and this relationship involves many aspects uh, and it gets people from different walks of life uh, together, like for example, trade, commerce, tourism, mm-hmm. education, um, health, uh, social security, uh, every single uh, issue that might touch the lives of the people themselves mm-hmm. to bring people together. Absolutely. This is the importance of, of uh, the vision that I do have. Talk yeah. to me about your, your academic journey. At the, at the beginning, you did say, you know, you studied, you, you graduated. Yeah. You yeah, yeah. took me through that and also your work in, uh, in, mm. in foreign affairs. Well, I did my uh, bachelor's degree in English language and translation in, 19, seven, in 1997 okay. uh, at Birzeit University. Then I did my master's degree in international relations also at Birzeit University, all in Palestine. Okay. Um, I joined the Palestine Liberation of, uh, Organization in 1997 and I stayed there for um, around eight years. Uh, after that I worked for the um, Arab and regional uh, office. I, I, I was taking care of uh, some of the issues of Arab and regional office at one of the PLO uh, departments as I mentioned. Um, then I, I started to, to um, look for other different areas mm. that I really I have a soft point at which is women issues. At that time uh, the Palestinian leadership established the Ministry of Women's Affairs. So I joined later on the Ministry of Women's Affairs as the director for international relations. I stayed in the international relations, mm-hmm. but also from a different perspective, from women and gender issues uh, perspective. And this really gave me um, uh, a, a different uh, uh, look and a different perspective on how to deal with international relations from a, a woman perspective which was very important uh, for me. Uh, Then, uh, uh, once again, I thought that I need to have another exposure and a different exposure uh, to to bring together the knowledge that I gained from the Ministry of Women's Affairs and from the international relations. So I I went to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and expatriates um, before 10 years. And Mm. here I started my career as a diplomat. First, I joined, I was the head of the International Cooperation Department 
where I started uh, about, uh, or I, I ran about 11 projects. The Palestinian International Cooperation Agency, which is functioning now in, in different parts of the world, okay. it was one of the projects that I really uh, started in my capacity as the international cooperation uh, director. Then after that, I, I moved into another political portfolio and I was uh, uh, raised into the um, minister assistant for the Americas and the Caribbean uh, portfolio. Uh, this also gave me another exposure to another different area of the world, which is the Latin America uh, countries and, and the Caribbean, which also in a way or another, we share with them the same the same experience of aggression and fighting the aggressor and and looking for freedom and um, so basically my and now I just <laughs> moved into South Africa yes so it's like a message that I always need to work with this South Southern Hemisphere yes yes yes, yes, with, yes. with with people um, of experience mm. on uh, people with uh, who has been suffering so that maybe to achieve um, principles that deep in my heart I do believe in like human rights dignity uh, uh, peace decent life for, mm. for poor people um, such principles and values I deeply inside my heart I do believe in and I really uh, always uh, in my conscious and my subconscious in dealing in any other uh, manner. I do believe that uh, these values uh, are constitute the core of, of, mm. of my belief and the core of my personality and I always uh, keep them ahead before my eyes uh, when I'm serving Palestine. You make a reference to the fact that um, you know mentioned the Caribbean, the Latin America yes. and, and, and the the global south and and it's quite important because south africa's uh, one of its strategic objective as far as the foreign policy is concerned is to advance the interests of the you know to advance the south south cooperation Tri as well Triangle which is Russia. important uh, the caribbean the diaspora yes, yes. I, I was quite excited to hear about the, inter the, the the establishment of the international cooperation yeah. um, from, agency. from agency as well because mm -hmm. I, I one of the issues that I, I had also wanted to ask was the, the 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 coordination of say how do you then make sure that all the Palestinians um, are, are united for a common cause mm -hmm. as well which yeah. is quite significant as well yeah. and also finding partnerships you know yeah. and um, in, in in the in the fight um, that. Uh, uh, everyone should take um, mm -hmm. uh, serious and closely for 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 them as well. <coughs> I, I mean, how I, I, I'm gonna draw to a close because some of the issues we're gonna we're gonna invite you again for them <laughs> yes. as well. And, and the, the Palestinians in the diaspora, yes, how united? Well, they are united mm. uh, in a way or another. They are united. They're deeply inside, there mm. is a kind of um, maybe disagreement, uh, diversity, uh, uh, which is something good. It's not something bad. I mean, to be diverse and to have opinions and to be free in your opinion and to express your opinion in a free manner is something actually healthy. Mm. Uh, it's not something bad because diversity really make um, arguments uh, rich and always it's saying that two opinions is better than uh, one. But when it comes to the crunch, I, I believe that all Palestinians shall are united uh, to achieve uh, their goal, which is a free and independent um, Palestine. Yeah. Because the compass is, is clear, we have one enemy, and the enemy is the occupation. Mm -hmm. That's it. This is the bottom line. Yeah. And no one Palestinian on earth is against this reality that uh, the occupation is the enemy. We have to end the Israeli occupation so that we can live in dignity and peace as all other nations all over the globe. Uh, this is uh, the, the message that Palestinians sometimes may fail to convey to the international community or um, because, you know, of what's happening in West Bank and uh, Gaza. But the truth deep inside is that all Palestinians are united when it comes to, to the real enemy, which is the occupation. Mm. Uh, if, we, if we're going back... Uh, to to uh, the international uh, cooperation Impression. agency yeah. yes i think it's it's one of the um, public uh, uh, diplomacy tools uh, because um, uh, what is the objective of achieve, of of establishing uh, such an agency mm -hmm. the ob the main objective was is to provide 
uh, first of all, is we do not want to raise the expectations that uh, such a cooperation agency provides funds. Because we do not have funds, let's yeah. be honest, yes. Um, we mainly provide technical assistance for less developed countries in areas where Palestine has competitive advantage in. For example, the human capital in Palestine is very high mm. and um, uh, there are very much areas uh, like education, IT, irrigation, agriculture, health, where we have competitive advantage in, and we can provide our experience and we can um, uh, share our experience and our expertise with the international uh, community, of course, not everyone, with the countries who really supported Palestine in the past and who really need such kind of uh, uh, cooperation and, and uh, assistance. Um, we did this because we really want to say um, uh, thank you for the countries who previously supported the Palestine, Palestine and the Palestinian cause and the Palestine Liberation Organization in its struggle. Um, long time ago, like many of the African countries, or most of the African countries, like South Africa, for example, uh, many of the Latin American countries, um, we have uh, projects uh, everywhere in Latin America. And uh, also we have um, uh, ongoing projects for mm -hmm. the International Cooperation Agency of Palestine in Namibia and in Lesotho nowadays. Uh, yes, in areas of agriculture and yeah. in areas of, uh, of uh, irrigation. Um, so basically, this is the function. The core or the backbone of, of, of uh, the work of the Palestine International cooperation agency is the south-south cooperation and the triangular cooperation okay because we're part of, of uh, this alliance uh, in in uh, south and actually we started it long time ago maybe in 2010 or um, yeah uh, we, we started uh, to join such a uh, trend because we do believe that uh, uh, southern countries and countries like Palestine really have everything and they can really provide their experience and they re really can provide their their uh, 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 technical uh, cooperation and support uh, because, I, 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 as I mentioned before, we have everything. In terms of money, mm. sometimes we refer to the triangular cooperation, which we depend on the funds of other uh, countries who are willing to provide uh, fund or uh, through their um, cooperation agencies like uh, JICA, COICA, TICA and other uh, cooperation agencies mm -hmm. so that we bring the fund and uh, uh, they, they put the fund, we put the experience and the technicalities and the human capital and we send the mission into the country that really needs our intervention. Mm. It's quite important. But you, you have an important partner that is South Africa as well in, in many yes. different fronts as well. Yes, and and I, I, one aspect I know, um, the collaboration in, in the education front, you know, the, the, yeah. the exchange is quite important as well. The field of education, because I think uh, bringing young people to learn yes. about, uh, you know, it's, it's, yes. it's quite important as well. Yeah. We have many uh, agreements with uh, South Africa, to yeah. be honest, and we will work on, uh, as I mentioned, on many other agreements on different areas. Okay. We will not limit it only on diplomatic and uh, uh, political uh, agreements. We will widen it so that um, it become more a relation between two peoples who, who share uh, many uh, uh, values. It's quite important. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you so much uh, for joining us. But I cannot leave without um, just really asking you for for this important uh, aspect of, of, of relation, the cultural aspect as well. Yeah. I did ask you about the music you're listening to because mm. as, as you are new, we still want to, <laughs> yes. to to find out, you know, <laughs> at your spare time, besides the fact that when you're in the country here, you're going to mm. attend a lot of cultural events, for example, mm. because yeah. they just happen. There's a lot of collaboration that you can make with uh, lots of cultural organizations. Yes, that um, you find yourself yeah. enjoying. Talk to Toba about music. You brought us music. Yes. Yes. What did you, what did you bring to us? First of us? all, I'm open to your music. <laughs> 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 That's good. I, actually, That's uh, good. I really loved the, the music that uh, we were listening to before uh, starting this program. Okay. Uh, it's very symbolic and yeah. very expressive. Well, um, it was Mongeni Gema, yes. One of the... Uh, uh -huh. Yes, yes. You have yes. to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Yes. 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 Mm. Uh, and... Uh, um, 
because of my the nature of my work, I mm. also was uh, open to merengue, to Caribbean ca- uh, music, oh, and yeah. I like it. I like mm. it. Yes, you know. And I, I listen to Spanish music. I listen to Arab music. I listen. Now I'm open to your music, of That's course, nice. and yes. it will be it, it will be a blast. I mean, for me and my family yes. to really indulge ourselves with such a rich culture. Mm. As for me, I, yes. I just choose for you today to listen to uh, a very uh, dear song to my heart. It says Ali Kufiya. It okay. means raise your kufiya. You know the kufiya is is um, the kufiya yes. that uh, the icon uh, um, Abu Ammar used to bought and it is um, the symbol for Palestinians all over the world. Not only for Palestinians but mm. also for the progressives all over the world. I mean yeah. for uh, the icons of liberation. I love it. And 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 and, and this song um, it's got an important uh, message to it as well. Yes, of course. It mm. means that uh, Palestinians teach life. They despite everything that happened to them, despite the catastrophe that they are living on a daily basis, mm. still Palestinians uh, stand up for principles, raise their heads high and raise their kufiya. <laughs> <laughs> that is the song. Thank you so yes. much, Amas, for your time. Yeah. My pleasure, always. It's quite important. <laughs>